So here we are, day one of the season. Uh, Arsenal away. Um, I don't really expect us to win this one. Um, especially considering that half the team aren't, you know, used to playing together. But let's have a quick look at the lineup we're going to go for. So, slightly more defensive um, midfield trio than normal. So, Huiberg playing as a deep lying playmaker. Ball in midfield, Stuaro, and then Romeo playing as a defensive mid. Uh, I, I think that's just, just going to help us hold up that, that midfield a bit more. Then we've got Buffel and Tadic on the wings and Dolberg starting up front. One change to the squad since um, since episode one, and that's just we confirmed the signing of Yavi on Tavares. He's not ready to play yet, but um, it, five million, it was an absolute steal. So we're definitely going to go for that. No brainer. So let's go for it. Match preview. Uh, they've got Koscielny out and Kazola out and Czech out. So don't think that's going to change too much. We are playing away and we don't have any form to speak of yet. Gianluca Ito is on the bench. Um, let's give him number three as I don't expect to get another first choice fallback in over there. And here we go. Kick off ready. So we're going to start off with classic and um, replays will be in director mode. Obviously if you guys prefer a different camera just let me know in the comments and we'll change that for the next episode. Um, okay. I think we just want to show him. Don't really want to give him any tight marking but we do want to go always that and show on to his weaker foot. Um let's just do that okay and encourage them okay um let's do that underdogs uh it is a special day i can't wait to get started um they're a good team with plenty of good players so i don't think it's going to change too much i think we could probably do a little bit faster there and very fast in the ranks. How's all the first ball in? Walcott against his old team, and oh, straight away they've scored. Mustafi. That's not looking good for us, and we don't have replays on. So let's get replays on. We, we don't expect to win this game. Um, we do, though, want goals. Replay goals, okay. Um, we do, however, want to put in a good performance, at least. Czech is still playing, so if we can get some strikes on goal, then maybe, um, maybe we might, might, you know, might not be able to deal with them that well. But so far, not locks going on. Okay, that's a good save there. Right, what's happening? They've got all the possession at the moment, so we do need to change this up. Um, let's just try and retain the possession for a bit. Good save from a four-star against Walcott. Um, yeah, we're not really getting... What we're going to do is um, half time. One nil is not as bad as you'd think it was after the first goal. But could we do better at the moment? Probably. Hope if we retain possession a bit more and and take off work in the box. Oh, great ball forward, Dolberg. Dolberg scores out of nowhere. Twenty seconds after the restart. Dolberg, first game in the Premiership, assisted by that man, Virgil van Dijk, and it's a superb goal. This is a great ball over the top. Dolberg just gets straight onto it and slots it in. I think had Czech not been injured, he might have gone maybe to Ford's feet a bit more, but I'm not going to complain. Well done, Cedric. Well done, Cedric. Huibjörg. Stuaro to Tadic. He's got options, but Stuaro just let the ball go then. 
Oh, Walcott, good save by Forster. I feel like we should change this because it's a bit distracting. Oh, right on the line as well. That's annoying. That us tying the game did not last long at all. Here, Ozil crosses the ball in. He free post header and where's the marking? We're going to have to look at the set piece creator later, I think. Walcott. Oh, it's good. It's kept out. Hoyt. Walcott's having a great game against us at the moment. He's been involved in pretty much everything they're doing. Um, two like two one away to Arsenal. First game of the season is is not a bad result for Southampton. Go on, Dolberg. Stuaro through for Tadic. Cuts in Dolberg. Oh, he's hit the post. Hit the post. That could have been a masterclass in finishing. Oh, Walcott's picked up a knock. I think we're going to make a sub as well. Um, Buffal's not really done anything there. So let's take him off and bring on Nathan Redmond. And uh, we'll leave Tadic on for a little bit longer. We might bring Clive on a five. Yeah, okay. Let's bring on let's bring on Clive out just to get his... Just to get him running. Ooh. And Dykes, Van Dyke's injured. Matthias De Ligt come on to get that nervy first game out of the way. It's a great ball. Go on, Dolberg, Dolberg. Oh, should have struck that a little bit more powerful. But it's okay. Like I said, 2-1 is not a bad result and it could have been a lot worse. Could be 3-1. I think our season's going to start in the next game. Next game is Newcastle at home. So that's that's where I expect us to, to get a win. They've just been promoted. Oh, well back. I'll see in Alexis scores. It's, it's difficult when you're managing a team that isn't expected to win these games. Because it feels like a loss. But it's not really. It's Arsenal away. It definitely, it's definitely a game you don't expect to win. We're only looking to get top 10 this year, so. Okay. Just play the whistle referee. Last one now, just playing about a bit of fun. And there we go. Okay. So, game over 3 1. We, we had a chance. Um, had Dolberg scored that goal when he was 1 1. Maybe 2-2 two -two would have been a different story, but they did well. Oh, they were not impressed with that. Leave that for now. Um, okay, so that's our, that's our first game, and we'll join you in a second for the Newcastle game. Okay, so Newcastle at home. Now this is a game that we we really should win. Um, we need to we need to start on winning ways. Now we've uh, got the Arsenal game out of the way, so I'm going to go for the licked at the at the back. Um, just home game, uh, partnering up with Van Dijk. He needs to start playing, um, and he's just a bit better on the ball than. Um, uh, Hurt is now Hurt is better defensively. I, I don't think I need that for this game. I think I need to be better on the ball, better with possession. So um, that's where we are. We're also going to go with Lamina rather than Hoiberg, um, simply because Lamina is a roaming playmaker, so he can get forward a bit more. And Justin Clive starting for Tadic because Tadic uh, picked up an injury midweek. Uh, Yavion Tavares on the bench. And here we go. So, Newcastle at home. They must show an improvement. Here we go. They're motivated. They're up for it. And uh, I need to get some opposition instructions done as well. Let's see how the game 
starts out, Bertrand to Forster. Okay, so Newcastle dominating possession a bit. This is not what we need, but Storaro the ball. Cliver has got Cedric on the outside. Cedric crosses the ball in. It's hit the bar. Not a good cross. Uh, if that was a cross, I hope it was because it shouldn't have been a shot. Uh, we do need to retain possession, so let's do that. And Marino, good save by Forster. We'll obviously have to get a keeper uh, start next year, but I think Forster can do it this year for us. The, the only issue is that he is quite injury prone. Um, so, Okay, so it's all Newcastle. They're really dominating us at the moment. It's not looking good. I don't know if this is just rustiness or, or tactical. Because um, they haven't played much together yet. So they haven't developed any partnerships or anything like that. I mean, Newcastle size looks pretty much unchanged from the start of the season. So, okay, we're, we're coming back into it a bit here. Look, three shots now against five, 49% possession. So we just need to... This for fans. Okay, so I want to see how we're. Um, oh, here we go. So Cedric to Clivert. The Mina. He's got Dolber. Oh, he just couldn't get it to him. Delict now. Lamina. Buffal. Got Bertrand on the wing. Back to Storaro. Really nice play here. Cedric and for Dolberg. Oh, it's gone in. Darlow should have dealt with that better. The header was straight at him. And Dolberg's just... The header was just too powerful. Look at that. Dolberg, two and two games for him. He is going to be signing of the season, I think. This is important now. Can we? I think we're going to make a change quite early here. Um, yeah, Buffal's not really done anything for us, so we're going to bring on Yavion Tavares. Now, because of our signing with Yavion Tavares, I have offered out Nathan Redmond. Um, he's, he's reaching his potential, and he's not a world class player, so I'd rather have Yavion Tavares as my backup inside forward Dan, um, Dan Redmond so I have offered him out and, and hopefully Huddersfield who are interested in making an offer right Cedric can he provide another ball in here for Dolberg he does Dolberg straight at the keeper this time Darlow holds on to it okay I'm going to bring on Musa mm. now we've got Carabao Cup next so we'll keep Dolberg on at the moment he is our best performing player at the moment and we might just need, yeah, Cedric can uh, ease off a little bit. Okay, this is Newcastle's chance. Matt Ritchie in for Atsu. Oh, it's gone in. He's put it over the goalkeeper. Fraser Forster is like 18 foot tall. There's no way that that should go in. That's really, really poor from Forster. Okay, we need to change something here. Um, let's go attacking. Let's go attacking. Let's make ourselves more fluid. Um, and I think we're going to take Romeo off. We're going to put on uh, Ward Prowse. We'll prowse in for Storaro. So Storaro can sit there as a ball winning midfielder towards the back. Ward Prowse. Okay, so now we've got two playmakers in the middle of the field. Hopefully it's just going to help us get the ball forward a little bit more. Right on the Veros. Ward Prowse, Lamina, Dolberg. It's a really nice passing play again. Lamina. Oh, just one too many. 
Right. We've still got the ball. Bertrand. Prowse Dolberg. Good ball. Oh, Lamina straight at the goalkeeper. Really, really frustrates me when you have chances like that and they don't go in. We don't even test the goalkeeper. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is the last thing we want. Forster's taking his time. Big ball upfield. Dolberg touches it off to Ontiveros. Ontiveros doesn't get the ball through to Dolberg. Okay, we've still got a great tackle from Virgil. That's why we want to keep hold of him. Ball pass to Cedric. Oh, I couldn't hold on to the ball. That's who now Virgil will clear up. Cedric. Oh, just losing the ball too easy. Right, on to Veros, to Dolberg. Go on, Dolberg. It's a great run. It's a great run. Oh, oh, so frustrating. If he just held up the ball just for a second. He had three players running into the box. Come on. This is not going well. This is worrying me. Ah, oh, Dwight Gale misses. Come on, one more chance. One more chance. Is this in, it's a minute to go, so I don't know whether it's going to be a chance or just a long last highlight. Delict to Cedric. Oh, what is that? It's right though. Dolberg. Not long enough for to climb out. Go on, Dolberg. Ah, oh, it's a bad shot. You can see what I do like though. You can see them trying to make runs and trying to make those passes. It's just they do need to get to know each other better. You need to create those links that uh, Foot Manager Tactics show with the kind of the links between the players. Once you've got that, I think I think this team's going to do really, really well. Okay, it's a point. Oh, I hope it's a it's a point after two games. So it could be better, um, but at least it's not two losses. So we can try and build on that now. Um, we will say it's disappointing. It's going to fire them up, and we've got the Carabao Cup next. So um, we're going to leave you now. We'll go off and do the Carabao Cup and the two next away games, and we'll meet you back for Man City, which will be episode three releasing on Monday. See you then.